Hi, I'm Craig Matsumoto with Light Reading. We're here at OFC. I'm talking with Vivek Rajgaria of Maycom. So Vivek, I know you guys are an RF components company, but you've made all these acquisitions in the optical space lately. There's been optics, there's mind speed. I, I don't want to list all of them, but tell me, what's the strategy there? Why get into optical? So, you know, uh, we have been known as a RF microwave company going mm -hmm. way back. Actually, Maycom has been around for more than 60 years. Okay. Um, about six years ago, we entered into the optical space with an acquisition for 100G Gordon drivers. We saw okay. that 100G uh, was starting, and um, with the success we saw in 100G Gordon, we saw a clear opportunity for us to expand. You know, we acquired MindSpeed that gave us silicon germanium expertise. We acquired mm -hmm. Mine Optics that gave us EFT lasers, and you know, becoming one of the first se electronic semiconductor company to actually go into photonics. You okay. know, it was transformational right. for Macom, and then we also saw the need for silicon photonics, especially in the emerging data center environment. So we acquired a team to develop silicon photonics, and uh, also optical packaging. So Fibes was a very key uh, acquisition for us that gave us optical packaging expertise and then recently applied micro for DSPs that go into uh, systems as well as PAM4 single lambda 5 for 100G serial which is going to emerge as a huge uh, application for data centers. Okay, is there an overall strategy with all this? You've got all these pieces, what, what, what does it add up to? So yes, uh, there was all these acquisitions that I just uh, mentioned it, they were all deliberate acquisitions. You know, mm -hmm. we targeted, we saw the need of having a portfolio of technologies and capability mm -hmm. where we can provide all the building blocks. We are a semiconductor company, chip okay. and component. Components level yeah. company. Yeah. But it's very important to provide a complete solution to our customers, especially when the data rates go up and the modulation uh, schemes become very sophisticated. So, you know, for our customers to put black boxes together is very challenging. Mm -hmm. So by having all these capabilities and technologies, we can provide a complete solution to our customers. Customers can pick and choose if they want one or two components, but we optimize the operation of all these components, mm -hmm. and as well as there's many customers who want a complete solution, we provide all the chipsets as a solution to them. Okay, yeah. which markets are you going after? You've had some success in so, the pond market, for example, right? So, uh, Maycom, you know, one of the things with Maycom is we are not in one segment of the optical network. Right. We cover all the way from access, like pond, mm -hmm. wireless backhaul, long, uh, metro, okay. and long haul. Okay. Yeah, and, that's, that's and, kind and of why I asked. You're kind of yeah. all over the place. Yeah. So, which, which is so the it's, it's very important to cover all the segments because, you know, uh, this gives us the scale, Mm -hmm. uh, and the uh, for us customers that are trying to service all the segments, we become a one-stop shop for them as well. Okay. okay. Uh, the data center in particular, that, that's a hot one. Everyone around here is yeah. talking about it. What, what, what are your plans there? So we have, uh, we are already in the data center market. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's expanding very rapidly. As you know, this is a new universe that has been created in the optical networks, right? Uh -huh. So the service providers have always been the optical users. Now the hyperscale data centers, you know, in, in a year or so, it will surpass the CapEx investment of the service providers, right? right. So we have um, the lasers based on edge faster technology. We've had success in covering the pawn market with substantial uh, market share. And we have, with EFT technology, we are able to uh, to scale that, mm -hmm. as well as um, it's it's very similar to the traditional semiconductor manufacturing, which is uh, Macom's forte. Mm -hmm. You know, we've we've had uh, experience in managing fabs, running fabs. Yeah. So we are able to scale that for the data center, where the scale is going to be an order of magnitude higher. Right. Also with silicon photonics, you know, we've uh, created what is an LPIC, which is a laser integrated with photonic IC, okay. where the laser self aligns with the silicon PIC, which okay. has been the key cha challenge of making sil silicon photonics a reality, right? So we've overcome that challenge. In fact, we have a demo at our booth at OFC showing a LPIC at 100G serial, single wavelength, okay? And then having all the electronics that go around it is also very important. So not only are we designing the uh, silicon photonics and laser, but all the electronics in conjunction with the silicon pick 
to make it a complete solution. So you mentioned PAM4, what's the big deal with PAM4? So when you go to a higher data rate, especially 400 gigabits, mm -hmm. 100G serial on single wavelength becomes very critical. Okay. And you can, this is only enabled with PAM4 modulation. Okay. And Maycom now with the acquisition of APM, we have all the critical components from all the way from switch to fiber. So again, we can provide a complete solution, including the DSP, the silicon photonics, the PMD ICs that go around it, okay. you know. So Vivek, thanks for talking with us. Sure.